Statue Hunter 75 here with the Sideshow Collectibles Hulk Comiquette. This is by Ariel Olivetti. So far he's done the uh, Punisher, um, this Hulk, also Venom, he did uh, Carnage, and uh, soon coming out, which I'll be getting in the mail, Spider-Man. This is the Hulk that he did. It's pretty huge, as you can see. Just like the other Hulk Premium format. It's a little bit smaller than the Hulk Premium format. But you can see my uh, my fist up against this fist. I mean, it's pretty good size. I don't know if you can see that. And the box is pretty huge, too. Still, it was much smaller than the Hulk Premium format box. And this is the exclusive. It's number 217 of 500. Um, the exclusive was the print by Ariel Olivetti, and as you can see, they pretty much did a good replication of the print and the sculpt. It looks exactly like it. I didn't put the two pieces coming up of metal here. They're in the box. There's nothing wrong with them. I just didn't want to set it up for the video. It makes no difference, but you can see the detail, how dynamic the pose is of the Hulk, like he's landing, just crushing the rock. It looks so good, like the detail looks amazing. It's very sturdy. He's held by one peg in his left foot, just right there. Now the difference between this and the premium format besides the size is obviously, um, you know, this is all polystone. There's no fabric on this one. A lot of people complained about the uh, hair being short and more like an African-American Hulk, but uh, it's different. It's a different artist's take on the Hulk. I, th I think the eyes look great. If you can see the detail in the eyes, he's obviously not... Um, cross-eyed or anything like that. They did great work. If you look at the tongue and the teeth, it just looks so realistic. The teeth look perfect. Did like a really good job with the shadowing. And if you get a view of the back, the back is just dynamic. If you get an overhead view of the back, it's humongous. Just really good job, all the veins. Ariel Olivetti does some great sculpts. This is the Sideshow exclusive Hulk Comiquette. It's just massive. It's about like 24 inches tall, maybe 22 inches tall with his uh, hands up in the air. It's one of the coolest poses I've seen. A lot of people, besides the hair, they also complained about the size of the head. But it's just a different take. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of Hulks, a lot of artists that draw a Hulk with a much smaller head than his hands and his feet. So this is... Uh, a really nice rendition of the Hulk and it's a great pose. A lot of people like it from that side angle, how he's landing on the uh, cement and just ripping it apart. I'll give you uh, like a few last spins around. Once again this is the uh, Sideshow exclusive version. It's number 217 of 500 and it's Ariel Olivetti's um, well it's a sculpt based on Ariel Olivetti's Hulk and that's it. Spider-Man soon to come. That's the next one from Ariel Olivetti. Another thing that some people draw like the black toenails. He kept it green. I like that because the Hulk usually has green fingernails and toenails. And some people have different interpretations, but the face just looks great. It's so intense. He's so angry. But that's it. Here's one last spin around. Hope you liked it.